right, everybody, it is 3.30 in the afternoon, and I am just randomly deciding to go to Six Flags St. Louis to ride the new Supergirl ride. Um, I was there last, or two weekends ago, and it was unfortunately not open. Um, it was supposed to open two weekends ago, but it was experiencing several delays. So hopefully when I get out there today, I will be able to ride it. So we'll see what happens. So you may know I did a Instagram poll this morning to see if I should go and check out the new ride and it was overwhelmingly yes. So that's what I'm doing right now, but it's four o'clock and I'm hungry. So before I make it to the park, I gotta stop and get me some Arby's. So I'm hoping that it's a good ride. Uh, I might check out the boss when I'm there, but I think I'm just gonna ride Wonder Woman, or Wonder Woman, I keep wanting to call it Wonder Woman. Um, I'll ride Supergirl once and then just kind of get my thoughts and share them with you guys. So hopefully the next time, the next clip after this is me at the park. All right, I'm here at Six Flags St. Louis and headed over to Supergirl. So it's not too crowded in the park, but we'll see how the line for Supergirl is. Getting the ride, Supergirl here. I'm gonna get my spot here, but I'm excited. All right, so I just did uh, Supergirl Sky Flyer for the first time, and I thought it was really good. I actually liked it a lot, a lot better than Highland Fling. Um, it's nothing too crazy or fun, but, um, or I should say it's fun, but nothing too crazy or thrilling, but it, it's definitely a fun ride and something that you can do when you're not going on any coasters here. So it's a good addition to Six Flags St. Louis, and I was overall pleased with it. I did think it was funny that they said, keep all your feet inside the car on Supergirl, because your feet are obviously dangling on that so but yeah overall I, I was happy with it i think six flags operations hopefully will get better because they were really slow for it but um overall i think it was really good so headed over to tidal wave i have some good news superman is open today and it's been open for a lot of the season so this is a good sign this over the past few years it's seen some downtime but this year it's looking good Well, I happen to come over here and it looks like Boomerang is stuck at the top of the lift. I'm sorry if you can't hear me because uh, Fireball's running, but it appears that Boomerang is stuck right now, so that sucks for those riders. Right, just a general tidal wave update. Looks like nothing has really taken place. Um, everything is about the same as where we left it off the last time. So again, no change over at tidal wave that we can see. Okay, quick update on Excalibur. It looks like uh, the gondolas still have not been placed on there. Hopefully you can see it because the sun's bad. But um, yep, no uh, progress yet on Excalibur. So hopefully we'll have something by the end of the year. Okay, it looks like Thunder River is still closed uh, right now. It was supposed to open in May and it's June, so I guess they're still doing some rehab on this one. Uh, Sign Out Front says that it will be opening up soon, so let's hope that's the case. Okay, so Justice League is operating at limited capacity right now. And then on top of that, Mr. Freeze is also one train off. So we'll see what's going on, but 
It might just be for a Sunday, but hopefully that's not gonna be like this for the rest of the year. All right, if you've been hiding under a rock, it's the Stanley Cup, and the St. Louis Blues are one win away uh, from winning the Stanley Cup. You guys will actually know when you see this video if they did it or not. Um, but as you can see, the fountain is blue. All right, let's go Blues. All right, that's gonna do it for my day at Six Flags St. Louis. I got one ride on Supergirl, and then I did a quick walk around to see what's going on at the park. Uh, Tidal Wave is still closed. Uh, Thunder River is still closed, and uh, Boomerang even got stuck at one point. Mr. Freeze is running one train ops, and uh, Justice League is also running at limited capacity. So that's just an update of what's going around the park. Superman uh, Power of Tower was open, so that's a good sign, and so was Fireball and some of the other rides that I saw closed the last time I was there. So uh, hopefully Six Flags St. Louis can get their act together, can get some of these rides going. Uh, because I think Supergirl is a great addition. I think we just have a good flat ride collection now that uh, will be good for the future. So uh, anyway, if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to see more theme park content. I'm Kala Hale. Have a good one.